A woodcutter has informed the wildlife officers about a baby elephant who was lying inside the forest. No sooner, the rescue team started to reach the elephant. It was a tough task for all the officers, since they had to clear a long way through the jungle in search of the elephant. He was lying farther away from the forest border than expected. However, the officers never wanted to give up. Ultimately, they found the baby elephant who was in a critical stage. He was weak and his body was covered with blue flies. Even though the officers reached the place, they had to clear the wood before they began treatments. Officers were struggling through the mission, but the elephant could not detect it since he was in a decisive stage. It was smelling really bad since he had urinated quite a bit. At a glance, the officers saw the cracked jaws and they could recognize that the elephant was trapped by a jaw bomb. The team observed that his mouth was swollen and blue flies were filled all over. When a baby elephant is trapped by a jaw bomb, it may incur considerable damage. But these babies are still in the growth stage, thus they may suffer with huge wounds. When the jaw bomb was blasted inside his mouth, he would definitely get a bacterial infection. Other than that, the baby elephant may be unable to eat, and as a result, he may get weaker. Hence, these babies are hard to recover. The baby elephant was in a seriously critical phase. Thus, vets were urged to begin necessary treatments. Initially, he was given saline in order to boost the energy. Saline was given to an ear vein. Since he was skinned, it was hard to find a vein. Before injecting the saline, vets disinfected the area using hydrogen peroxide. Even such circumstances can cause for further infections due to his critical condition. After disinfecting the relevant area with saline, the saline was injected by setting a cannula. Meanwhile, another officer began to inspect his jaws. The jaw was heavily damaged and the officer noticed that it was moving to both sides. Due to the critical condition, vets can't turn the elephant to any side. Thus, they decided to take the povidone iodine solution. Povidone iodine was used as an antibacterial dressing. Using their hands, officers spread the povidone iodine on infected areas of his mouth, trunk, and his jaw. This will prevent the outspread of infections any further. This baby elephant has fallen about three days prior. Since then, his body was filled with blue flies and maggots. Hence, vets sprayed an antibacterial spray all over his body. With that, officers noticed a sudden shake in his body. 
It implied he has gained some energy with the saline given. Then he was given antibiotics, multivitamins, and anti-inflammatory drugs, as well as all other medications required to heal the wound by assuming his body weight. Since the elephant was weakened due to a lack of food, multivitamins were given to boost energy and immunity. Antibiotics will boost immunity within the elephant's body, accelerating wound healing. Antibiotics are usually administered intramuscularly and fight secondary microbial infections on wounds. Anti-inflammatory medications prevent inflammation and infection of internal organs. There are many alike cases being reported each passing day. Jaw bombs are produced by farmers to protect their cultivation from wild boars and wild pigs. Elephants are deceived by them as they are hidden inside pumpkins and watermelons. When elephants eat them, their jaws will be blasted. Farmers do not target elephants, but unfortunately, they do get trapped. It hurts to see baby elephants being pulled down at such an early stage of their lives.
el chamo no como tú, anda que me tiene. ¿Eh? <laughs> By now, this baby elephant was given about five saline bottles. Officers sprayed some more antibiotics into the wounds, but the flies were still there. This elephant has fallen far away in the forest. It was hard to reach him by a vehicle. At the end of the treatment, they removed the saline and one officer was assigned to take care of the elephant. Since he was in a seriously critical condition, vets decided to monitor him daily. The rescue team left the place with the hope of visiting him again tomorrow. This was not an easy place to reach and treat the elephant in such a critical condition. Thus, we are really grateful for the entire rescue team as they managed the situation properly. We will be sharing the second day treatments in our next video.